Hello, people. Welcome to another edition of Tips for Filmmakers. Uh, we started the other time with uh, storytelling. I gave an introduction, a brief introduction. And uh, today I'd like to continue. And uh, what I call ingredients of storytelling. Ingredients of storytelling. Now, I am not really talking about script writing, you say. I I'm looking at a holistic, I want us to look at a complete picture of filmmaking. It's different from uh, script writing, okay? Seeing yourself as a storyteller in which your message is embedded, all right? It goes beyond uh, the technicalities of writing script and things like that. Now, this that I'm about to share with you can also come in as you write your script, but on a broader sense, seeing yourself as a story. How do I tell my story in such a way that my audience, <coughs> my audience is captivated, my audience is is cannot stand up from watching my film. They want to get to the end of it. How do I arrest them? Yes, number one, I agree with you. Before you say any other thing, anointing. Yeah. Yes. Now, the anointing is there. So you pray, you receive. At the same time, don't forget again, I, I was using the word of storytelling as an instrument. Okay? So, um, the ingredients, some of the ingredients that you, you will need to put into it or to identify for your storytelling is, um, let, let me start with one. For example, identify your message. What is it that you want to pass across? What is it? When there's an issue and Jesus Christ wants to talk, then he wants to address an issue, then he tells a story to address a particular issue. So that is, you, you, is, you must identify your message. By time, you understand, you agree with me that a film may not be able to cover every topic in the whole world. No. So you identify your message. What is it that I want to pass across? Let me also say this. The fact that you identify with it does not mean you can limit the Holy Spirit. Because a, a message can come across or a, a, a film can come across to people in diverse ways. All right, That is the work of the Holy Spirit, not yours. But you are to identify the message that the Holy Spirit has given to you in as you want to tell your story. This is the message I want to pass across. Now leave the interpretation. Now leave the revelation to the Holy Spirit. Number two, identify your audience. Um, I know many of us will say, my audience is the whole world. I don't disagree with you. Okay? Um, but you must understand where am I trusting. For example, in this era of social media, some are doing their film and putting directly onto the YouTube. Some are taking it to churches for outreaches. Um, some are taking them to cinema. If you are taking your film to a cinema, for example, your storytelling will be slightly different from someone who, whose only focus is to take it to churches. The church is a little bit patient. The church is a little bit sympathetic. And um, you can keep preaching from scene 1 to scene 20 if you if your focus, for example, is just church. They will sit down. They will be polite and all that. If you're taking your film to a cinema, then you must put in such ingredients as to make the audience arrested and captivated. Okay? So, it, 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 identifying your audience is also key. Now, does it mean that if I take my film to, to cinema, I cannot take it to other places? No, 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 absolutely not. You can take it to as many places as you, can, as you want to. But I'm just saying it's good, as you are telling your story, to understand. When Jesus Christ would tell his story, he understood, his audience he knew were, his audience he knew were children of Israel. He was in Israel. He was using things that they could resonate with. 
things that they could um, understand. All right, and that, that 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 helped him in telling his story. He wasn't giving illustrations that they couldn't understand. He wasn't he wasn't telling them things that they have never seen before. They didn't know. So it's very important that you um, um, identify your audience. Can I also say this? Identify your the characters in your story. Uh, permit me to say that many of our characters in our films are too bland. They are too predictable. They are too. They are too. There is no. They are not exciting. Most of our films, yes, you can have. You can have a preacher. You can have a doctor. You can have. You can have a student. You can have. But why can't you make the character interesting? How can to make them, you know, unique in their own way? Can we have, can we have um, a husband that's a stammerer? Can we have uh, a wife that is uh, that 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 is blind, for example, or someone that is um, all kinds of all kinds of uniqueness that makes your story interesting? Okay, look at the prodigal son again using that he. he Jesus Christ told us that he went to the pig, uh, to pig style. So, to, you know, he, he that begins to bring your miniature. He could have just said he went out, something. But he had a problem. He went to, to a point, to the point of the fact that he, he had to stay. He, he was suffering. And then you begin to imagine as an audience, wow, the kind of things he would have gone through eating with the pigs and so on and so forth let's let's make our characters such that uh, it will resonate also with the audience can your character be genuinely angry when things of real life happens to to him I, i'm gonna i'll continue uh, at the next uh, edition i want to stop here let us look at this three okay let me have your comments let me have your contributions and then i would respond uh, as we go on there are still some other ingredients i'd like to touch but let me stop here for now god bless you don't forget uh subscribe uh to my channel make sure you share as well please and uh, send in your comments god bless you